Here you see the MOSFET, the 76143P. It's an N MOSFET. Uh, and I wanted to make a simple circuit with it. And especially I wanted to test whether the MOSFET was usable uh, in a voltage stabilizer. And my idea was that when the MOSFET uh, is driven at the gate only by voltage, it would be very easy to make a stabilizing circuit, like it's done with a bipolar transistor. Um, because uh, you don't need current to be driven into the um, gate to get a current flowing here. And that's the current through the load. And here on the load the voltage must be stabilized. Um, but we have to keep in mind that the Zener diode, this one here, always needs a certain minimum current to function properly. So I made this setup with a 1 mega ohm potentiometer and a 2K2 uh, fixed value resistor. And I found that the potentiometer always had to be set to the upper position and that was the right uh, position to make some current flow here through the Zener diode and the normal, the small, uh, normal silicon diodes, three of them. You see these small silicon diodes. And I also found that the, <coughs> the MOSFET had a quite high uh, internal loss or voltage drop uh, and that means that to get 12 volt out I had to use a 13 volt Zener diode and also three fixed value diodes to raise the Zener voltage uh, on the gate. But after all it worked fine and here you see how it was made in an experimental circuit. This is the MOSFET, here is the potentiometer, here is the load, this small uh, lamp. And I can show now how it works. This is the output voltage at the moment, 12.3. Though I use a Zener diode from 13 volts plus uh, 3 times 0.8 volt here. 12.3. This is the voltage drop parallel uh, to the, the NMOS FET uh, between the drain and the source. It's 8.3 volts. And this is the power supply voltage. And the MOSFET now gets a little bit hot, quite hot. It's on a small uh, heat sink, but quite hot. Uh, I want to show now what happens when I raise the input voltage. Now I raise it to 41 volts and here you can see that the lamp lights up equally compared to an input voltage from 20 volts. So this circuit works properly. And you can use this, for instance, in a small radio or so, everywhere where you need a stabilized voltage and a not too high current, output current. Now I want to demonstrate what happens when we change the load to a heavy uh, lamp, car lamp. This is a 12 volt, volt 21 watt car lamp. And you can see now that the current raises to 2 ampere. This is the input voltage. This is the output voltage to the lamp, 12.6. And this is the voltage drop between the drain and the source. So it works also with a heavy load, like this lamp, 20 watt. But of course the meter Sorry, the 
the MOSFET gets extremely high so it needs a very big heatsink where you want to do that and I'm not sure whether this MOSFET uh, will uh, keep working and will not burn out due to this high current and voltage drop of course. So I switch off the output, the input uh, voltage but I think this circuit is usable for uh, voltages up to let's say 20 volt or 40 volt and with a current between let's say uh, 10 milliampere and 500 milliampere. Of course the heat dissipation depends on the voltage drop parallel to the drain in the source multiplied by the current that flows here in the circuit. So when you have a high voltage drop and a high current the MOSFET has to uh, dissipate a lot of heat. It's going to dissipate a lot of heat because it uh, must regulate uh, the input and the output voltage. And all the uh, heat, all the voltage here that the MOSFET consumes in a certain sense is changed to heat. So it gets very hot. As long as the current is small um, the MOSFET will not get very hot. In fact these are the principles that you can also use that you can use also with a bipolar uh, transistor. And the advantage from this circuit is that you need less components to make a, a good stabilizer.